Hi everyone, here I am on my PC and here I am going to create an application that is the media player application. For that, I am having my Android Studio installed in my system and now I am going to use this Android Studio to create a media player in which I will play the sound, pause the sound and stop that sound. So that will play my music which is there in the media player. This can be considered as a basic application if you are starting any Android application then you can consider this media player application as a kind of learning and POC project even in the colleges and in the intern. So in this Android application or Android Studio, I'm going to create a file or and go to the new and create new project. I will go with empty activity. You can go with any custom activity also if you want. But right now I'm going with the empty activity. I'll click on next. I will write this application as my media player since I'm going with the media player there can be two versions of language Java and Kotlin I'm going to use Java only now there are Android versions which are available here so the older version which you use the more chances that that application can be played on multiple devices because those people who have bought the, their mobile or tablet quite a while ago their Android version might be quite older one. So if you choose any older Android version like Jelly Bean or something or KitKat, that can be played on their devices. So I'm going with the older version so that it can be more circulated to much more people. And click on finish. So as you can see, this will open my application. And let me minimize this. So this is my media player. So let me close the other studio. So once this application will start, it will start loading and it will have two files. One is XML and another one is a Java activity. So as you can see right now, this application has started. And these are the folders which are there in it. So these are the Java folder and this is a res folder. Inside this res, there are different resources are available. So going further, let's focus on these two parts. So this main activity is for Java function creation. These Java functions generally do the activity which are mapped with the view part. View is here XML only. So as I clicked on this XML, there are two ways to look into it, either through design or through XML part. You can choose single also like code or either design. If you want to see both, you can go with the split part, but let's go with the minimal coding. So I'm going to use design part. Here, hello world is already written. I'm not going to use this hello world. Rather, I'll delete this. Now I'm going to have some images which will show that kind of media player is being played. So for that, I'm going to use image view here. In this image view, these are the already given images which are available. Instead, I'll be going to use another image which are available in my system so you can click on this plus button click on import drawables so image will be like image banner click on next click on import and i'm going to use this one so i provided it here so it will ask me to minimize this so initially i'll minimize this to come to the screen in proper so i have minimized it here. Now I need to add constraint of its layout. So I need to arrange these springs which are attached to whatever device you are using. So these are not kind of fixed length. These are actually you can see if I move it here, it will come out to be here. So the constraint which we provide generally here arranges these on the basis of what amount of load we are providing. These are can be considered as spring. So if you cl click on this, you can find then this is a constraint which is provided with a certain value and this has a different value this has different value so if you see the layout it shows that this is having 49 here value and if you see this this is having zero value so it has pulled out everything now if i go with this part it has 21 and this has again zero value so now we have arranged this image here now let's add some buttons to play the music. 
So to play the music, I'm going to add three buttons. Let it be first with this button and I will name this as in the button part text as play. So this text will come out to be play. And again, let's change the ID to play button. So it's play only. So I'll refactor this. Now again, aligning this to wall. You can align this to other objects like this also, but I prefer to align it on the wall because the images will not get distorted if I move the other objects to which it has taken the reference. So this is coming at this place. So this is coming at this place. Now let's go with movement like here I can move it for the play button. Since it is a play button, I can change this play button's color. So I can search color and it will show me different type of color which are there. So I will go with the ripple color and make it kind of green one. So now this is done. Let's go with the other color also like text color. These are also there. I'll go with the background. So background is this tint. I'm going to change it to green color. So this play button will come out to be somewhat green. Now let's go with another button and this button will be a kind of pause. So let it be blue only and let's change the text value which is present here to pause and let's change the text to pause. So I'm going to factor this and let's change the text to pause. So the pause button is also now okay, but the alignment we should provide here. So I'm going to provide the constraint here and add it to the wall. So I've already added these two at three sides and now it's the fourth side. So play and pause button is now ready. Let's create another button and this will be a stop button. So first change the ID to stop and it will ask me to refactor. I will do the refactor and it's it will say stop so the stop button is provided now let's change the background so changing the background i'm going to use some one red color of this this has changed the background of the whole layout so to change the background of whole layout is also a good idea so let's change the background to somewhat like this color to make it a little lighter. Yeah, now this has been done. I'm going to change the background of this button. So in this button, I'm going to change the background to red color because this is a stop button. So now, as you can see, this has been created. So there are three things. First is play button, then pause button, then stop button. Now let's go to the main activity. We are going to create certain functions. And those functions will be called inside this play, pause and stop button. To create those functions, I'm going to create a media player. So I will write media player, which is already provided by Android and it will be a media player. I'm going to initialize this inside the already created on create function. And I'm going to initialize this as media player. So when the main function is called on create, it will initialize the media function. So media player, and this media player will be initialized dot create and in this create i'll provide this and this is the class which is there and this class will come out with the value of what media i'm going to provide so now this r comes is the resources folder r refers to this resources folder in which i'm going to provide raw folder and inside that I'm going to provide media. Before doing that, let's create a folder here and I'll create new folder. So it will be directory and it will be raw directory. In this raw, I'm going to provide music. So I'm having this trending code. So I'm going to just copy this in the raw folder. So as you can see in this raw folder, I'm having this trending code dot mp3 
So I will write or it will automatically pick trending code from the raw folder. So this has been initialized here. Now since it has been initialized, let's get three functions. So first thing will be public void play and it will take view and this view will be imported from the Android only. As you can see, this view is coming from the Android bundle. Now this media player, I will say dot play. So for play, it is not play, but it is start. So media player will start from here. Again, to after play, let's create a function to pause. So public void pause. This will again take view. So let it be V and it will say media player dot pause. That's it. Third thing is that again to stop public void stop and it will take view. Inside this, I'm going to say media player dot stop. But if you stop this, it is better to initialize after that. So again, I'm going to copy this and create this media player using this. So this is done. Now, since this is done, I am going to this activity, the main activity inside is play. I'm going to provide the attribute that on click what will happen. So since we have already created these three functions of play, pause and stop, I'm going to use it here in these three buttons. So inside this button, I will search on click. So it is already showing. I'll go to the drop down. Since this is a play button, I'm going to use play. This one is pause button. If I go it here and on on click, I'll say pause. And this is stop button. On click, I'll say stop. So this one already play. This one already pause. This one already stop. We can also verify with the code snippet. As you can see it, button is a play button and it is referring to play. This ID is of play and it is going with on click calling the play button function. This is a pause button and on click it is calling the pause function. This stop button and on click it is calling the stop function. So these are the three layouts which has already been provided. <clears throat> now this is giving a minor error. Let's see what this error it is giving. So as you can see it here <clears throat> it says stop button missing constraint in constraint layout. Okay so let's see the constraint layout. So we have not provided a constraint for this. So that's why it is giving constraint. So I'm going to pull it from to the wall. Again, this to the bottom and to this wall and to this wall. But I don't want to use it in the between. So I'll pull out this to right side. So we have now already successfully created this media player, a basic media player, I would say, as just a kind of PLC for college and whoever starting this Android application. Second thing is that I'm going to use here different kind of devices. You can use device manager and import whatever device you want to use. If you're not having any device here, you can click on the create device and whatever type you want, either tablet or whatever, you can click on it and can use it. So let's start with this one and click using this media device. I'm going to use or let's go with the pixel Excel and click on play, it will render this and start it and play it on my system. Let me increase the voice. So now it has starting the application. The screen has started. It's just that it is rendering. As you can see, the Gradle build is being built here. So it says some version update is required. So let's go with the version. It says the Android activity version needs to be updated. At this place, I need to change it to 1.8.0. So I'm going to use this Android material from, so click on save, again, click on build. So it will start building. 
Now I'm going to use Pixel Excel and start this. So this time again it will render it. And as you can see, the emulator has started started running the application in the background. You can see this is started. So this is my media player which is already started. Let me increase the voice. Now I'll play this. Welcome to Trending Tone. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching my video. So now it has stopped. Again, it's not to the existing stage. Let me again play it and pause it. Welcome to Trending Tone. So I'm going to pause it right now. So I paused it. And when I play it from that, it will play from that point only. Thank you all for watching my video. Video. Again, it stopped. Now I'm going to play it. Let's stop in between only. This time it will not play like it was doing for the pause. It will start from the initial phase only. Welcome to Trending Code. Subscribe, like, comment, and share my YouTube so this is the way we have done play channel. pause and stop button which are already in function to the media which we have seen for creating this application and installing in your system you should build this application and I would suggest don't misuse this application creation thing by random creating any kind of application it's just that you should use it for learning purposes and can showcase this application to your friends relatives and they can install it in their system and can use it so for that let's go to the build and on this build go with the build bundles so on this note that you will not misuse I am going to show how we can create this APKs and that can be installed in your system click on this build APKs so again the grader will start running and once it has start stopped and it has done the completion it will show you the folder layout or the folder at which this has been installed so the thing is that when you give this apk to your relatives they will not be able to directly install it without giving permission to on their android phones so they should give extra permissions on their android phone so that they can install it in their system so just once this gets built we will get the location and after this once the location is found we will be able to send it through either through whatsapp through email or some other platform and your colleagues can install it in the system so you can see this has given the location so when I click on this it will go inside this path and the complete path we generally comes in that place only where your project is there inside that go to the app then build then outputs then apk then debug so if I go to my media app build then output apk then debug inside this this is your application which needs to be installed in the whosoever device you want to get it installed you can change the name of this application also like media player or make it my media player which we have created and send this apk to your colleagues and they will install it in their mobile phone and finally play this application which you have created i hope you like this video it is a kind of first application with minimal coding which we have seen and anyone can use it and create it in their college project or in the internship or something to showcase the initial learning of Android. Thank you all for watching the video.